everyone. I'll rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, roll call, please. Patterson? Here. Henderson? Here. Shaw? Here. Simpson? Here. Sleds? Here. Delecky? Here. Okay. Um, the agenda. Uh, anybody have any comments on the agenda? If not, uh, motion to approve as presented. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve as the minutes. Okay. We got enough to vote on the minutes? Yep. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, that's right. We're a five, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Okay, so now we're moving to an approval of minutes from August 6th. Motion to approve the minutes of August 6th as presented. In the second? New fancy format. Yeah. You like that? <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Oh, we have <coughs> in Larry a net tension. And you. And you? Okay. So, yes. uh, abstentions? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay. Two All right. Two abstentions. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay. So now we're uh, site plan of 2300 Main Street. Are made in Michigan? Is that correct? That is correct. They are made in Michigan. Okay. So, um, and who's the, I don't have a site plan. Um, I had here, um, wonderful. Okay. Um, so is William here? I am. Okay. William, could you tell us a little about what you're going to do? The store is basically generated around Armada. I created a logo. I it's basically hands on. I'm a carpenter third generation. I believe in work with my hands, and it's a dying art. And I know there's a lot of craft around here. I've been to Armada numerous times, both as a vendor and a customer down at Armada. I visit your fair. I love your exhibits, and I've always dreamt of having a place in an environment like this. Uh, my store is basically going to be open to anybody to sign consignment or you can actually bring your stuff in referring to local residents because the store is relatively large for me to man by myself. In the back section is we make and take like crafts where a group of people will come in um, and they'll make different things out of wood projects. Uh, all the carpentry and cutting would be done at a different location because there'll be like monthly advertisements on Facebook. We're going to have a Facebook page announcing a class. It might be for making birdhouses or chicken coops or egg <coughs> tables, anything. Uh, and this way people can sign up for an advance. So this way I know everything and they make, uh, we have stencils where they have special logos or personalized their works of art. It's basically, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with AR uh, works. It's basically a classroom where people get together, they have fun, they social, they talk, they get creative, they express their, their artistic qualities. Um, my store is open mainly to Armada. I love the fact that uh, the local farmers and uh, Amish people, I'm gonna have handmade furniture there, hopefully provided from the local uh, residents. Um, I also talked to a few people that talk, look, went into my store and actually looked at my proposed store, sorry, and looked at it and, and envisioned some of my anticipations. I had steel bars there from Romeo, I believe, in 1960, the actual steel bars that was in the jailhouse. I had school light fixtures, the big glass dome that came from the Washington Township School. I've already collected numerous things that has related to Armada things that was refurbished, local artists. I met Walt, really nice gentleman. I have a piece of his artwork, he's local, uh, he's well known. Um, there's other people that I've met that are very influ influential in me choosing this area. Just the other day I met a gentleman uh, right here on North Avenue, south of Maine. He owns a, the white building over there and he, he, he loved my idea. I have a 1947 deep, excuse me, Depco 
the old milk truck, the Twin Pines. I got the whole front end sitting inside the store, and it's set up like um, the, the movie Cars, the old rusty tow truck. I want it to be kid friendly. I want to invite kids. That's why it's hobbies. There'll be model cars. I have a soapbox derby. I want to bring back the old days, the days that are gone. And I love the history of Armada Hats. And I think Armada has a lot to offer. Both, you know, friendly wise, I met a lot of honest, friendly people here, and I want to, I want to fit in with this, uh, this community uh, and be supportive in local things. I, Wanted to talk to the art teacher for the Armada High School and the possibility of creating a scholarship because I have certain equipment that I don't know how to use, but it's computer oriented for making t shirts for like the local schools uh, activities and stuff like that, or the Armada Fair. So I, I would love to talk, to talk to the art teacher and try to bring a student in and put something towards a scholarship to get them in school to better enhance my business as well as their education and also contributing to the community. So you're not just going to be strictly retail, you're also going to be um, uh, crafts. Okay. It could be quilting. I could have, I'll be having exhibitions like I might invent, uh, invite a bunch of women over to have a quilting party and it's, it's basically a social gathering. Is not to make money based, I'd make a small portion, honestly, yes, <clears throat> but it's to bring the community together. You get together with your friends and family. You got a family reunion, you got 20 people in. Hey, let's go down here. We can, you know, sit around and create some kind of art. Uh, we'll be doing paper mache, numerous things, really, whatever is in the demand. But it'd be new and used, mostly Michigan, but I want to promote Armada. Mm -hmm. Our, my son is a recent graduate from Western University in uh, marketing, and he created up a logo. Uh -huh. This logo will be placed on a branding arm, and I intend on buying a large amount of hats, hand cutting a piece of leather out, heating that branding arm, putting it on the leather, and then hand stitching it on the hat. Mm -hmm. Again, it says AR, made in Michigan. Most people when look at the sign says the guy is here doesn't even know how to spell Armada. But five minutes later he might laugh down, oh no, I get it. Yeah, but that's that's the whole thing. I, I want to promote Armada. I love Armada. I love the small town. My wife always dreamed of moving to a small town. I'm not saying we're going to, but I've not ruined that out. I I see a lot of good fighting people out here and a lot of good land. I hope I answered all the questions. If not. I'll be more than happy to answer any other ones. So it's a little different um, than what we're used to, so that's kind of uh, why we really haven't said anything. So um, Chris and I are both looking up. The mixed use. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah. Fortunately, so far, it has been either uh, an office or service or commercial. Correct. Which fits, I'm assuming the location is the corner. Yeah. Yeah. So retail fits as far as the classroom stuff for yeah. the, the um, uh, and the um, the making of things. Um, doesn't, I'm not quite sure. I believe Romeo has the same thing. They have a make it and take it in Frontier Town. And they also have another where they actually help people refurbish, refurbish furniture, repaint it, you know, take something old and make it look new. Not saying anything, but there's a working prototype there, and she says that she's so overwhelmed that she needs more space. Well, and that is a different district. So it's a different zoning district. So, okay. so that's different than downtown. Downtown has. Uh, very few criteria in one aspect, but it has, it's, it's limited to what can go in that area. So you're more of a C2 usage in, and you're wanting to go into a C1. May I ask a question? Sure. The dance studio, isn't that very similar to mine? It's more of a class environment situation? Um, you're an instructor? Not, they're not making anything. Okay, okay. So it's, that's, it's different. Okay. 
So my gut feeling is I'm not sure we can make a decision on your request to be. What if I eliminate the, the classroom environment? Wait, just, we just, time, just don't do it. I mean, are you, are you pressed for time? No. Well, I'm paying rent. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not cutting me no slack on yeah, that. And so I, he's pressed for time. <laughs> well, uh, I'll put that on hold. I'll eliminate that from the whole pro program immediately. And in six months, maybe I can readdress the board with it with a better presentation mm -hmm. so we have a better understanding. Well, I, I, I think we have an understanding. So it's just how to present it so that we can make it fit into our ordinance. So. It really isn't how you present it, it's how we do it. Okay, right. So it's how we, we're, and how we pigeonhole it into what we can allow. Understood. So, in, I don't know how, how do you guys feel? My gut feeling is that we contact the planner and ask him. Uh, I agree. I mean, the other parts of it is fine, as you get into second, you know, resale and other stuff, that's easy. Yeah, but you're right. It's the it's an assembly area now that becomes of what would you say four to ten or something like that at certain times Correct. in particular. No more than ten students at a time. Yeah, four, four to six to nine p.m. Sunday from ten a.m. to three p.m. So yeah, I don't know where that you know that fits. And and if you label label it as students, I'm not sure that the school even fits downtown. Right. So, but if you labeled it as an art studio that might be something different to do so it's just again it's how to word it in French I, I, I'm yeah. tired to say that we're at this point in time we I don't think we could do that I understand could you approve him for the uh, antique part and sure we could yeah. approve it as we and the, and the sale thing yep. yeah, until and do more research on the rest of it mm -hmm. and get back to you. Like after a year, I can represent it? Not even that. Just oh, yeah. let us find yeah, out. And right. Oh, great. That'd be awesome. Come back later, but for, for today, for you to get in there, partial approval, I guess. Yes. <clears throat> um, I think we could even do this so that you could come back next week or next month. Uh, uh, the way our uh, fee schedule goes the first meeting uh, is your fee the second meeting also goes to that fee the third meeting then you start paying again but so we could ask the planner what we could do and if you felt like it uh, we could approve you as retail only and then you could come back uh, the next meeting I don't think you'd even need to do another site plan uh, we could just go with this and they, then uh, that would work great for me. I would okay. really appreciate okay. that so, that offer on yeah. you guys. I mean that. I, I think that way we're trying to help you along, yeah. but we're also CYA. It gives me encouragement because <laughs> right now I'm kind of left in the dark. I've already paid rent for two yeah. months, and I didn't know none of this. Yeah. And when the young lady over gave me the paperwork and lists all the places you've ran businesses, I said, "Okay, <laughs> this is my future retirement. This mm -hmm. is." Oh, okay. Great. Thank well, you so much. Hopefully, we can help who you does, out. In who does fire inspection? Dennis doesn't do both, does he? No, he doesn't. Uh, no, the fire department so, does. Okay. You know, I was just thinking too with that assembly. I just happened to finish my NFPA 101 life safety certification. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, that gallery, you know, so you may also want to get because that does require with that as a class type setting it has different fire safety requirements. Yeah. For the sprinklers, for smoke detectors. Uh, yeah. Um, Egress and uh, access are all have things to do with that when you have an assembly, even though it's an incidental. That's yes. interesting. Uh, yeah. But there could yeah. be. So, yeah. got to the rule. Especially if you're doing sawdust and glues and, yeah, and, exactly. and volatile paints. The hazard, yeah, exactly. The yeah. hazardous stuff. Yeah, but I don't think there's ample system in the building. I don't think there's a no, sprinkler system. Mm -hmm. But for it to be a classroom mm -hmm. assembly, I can understand this point. You'd want to have all the exits and you know mm -hmm. safety for the public. Interest. Yeah. And so, you do have apartments above, so. Yeah. Well, that's really interesting. But, that's interesting. Yeah. I, yeah. I think it'd be good to find out later on, six months, whatever, about that aspect. But as far as me opening up as an antique collector and consignment bringing in the local yeah. residents, is that within 
the scope of that area there, the zoning? Yeah. Well, I, I, again, we could only approve you for, for the retail. Yeah. For the retail. Right. I understand we, that. We can do that this evening. Yeah. If everybody's... The, and, and the nice thing, too, is we're very familiar with the site, so yeah. it's not like yeah. this. Do we know yeah. the you know, but exterior lighting, the facade, the awning, mm -hmm. the, yeah. the trash receptacle, the Ar Arbavide screening to the uh, lot to the east. Are you going to do anything with the awning out front? Yes, uh, along the side for the... No, I'm going to probably put my sign up there. The It'll be the, the, local, the, the, the state of Michigan with the roots and the AR. Okay. It'll be professionally done. I was actually considering the gentleman that did uh, We the People. Because I was trying to support the local. Oh, the so, process, the process. Yeah, I was going to talk to him to see what he would recommend. Uh, the landlord said that I could paint it. It was painted before. I'd rather have it really presentable. Because to me, that's a gym. You're right on the corner. Mm -hmm. Everyone stops. Yeah. That showcase, I met a couple people, and honestly, I want my window case to be very rustic, very 1920, 1940s, the old Santa Claus waving, Lionel train where mom and dad walking down, little kid looks in the window. You know, that's the nostalgic of the era I grew up in, and that's what kids are missing, that glow, that hands-on experience. You know, people don't play with things. It's all computerized. Would you guys like a closer look at the logo? Yeah, texture. Mm -hmm. And uh, those the corn stalks. <laughs> you know, my son's got a degree in this, so. Put a, a cover on the cover. It's on the existing. Okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, going back to the sign, so you're allowed 10% of the building facade of the first level. So you're going to uh, occupy the first level. So uh, your signage has to be, and if you have that awning and the awning is lit, that whole section where the where your uh, name or anything that you put on that awning, all, that whole section goes in towards that computation. Okay. So that's why I asked what you were going to do with an awning. A lot of people put their name in the awning. So I just wanted to let you know that uh, you can kind of go overboard with the awning unintentionally. Right. Gotcha. So just okay. kind of bear that in mind. Anything that you do with your signage, uh, and then since you don't have a sign thing now, I would suggest that you uh, Check with the building inspector before you do your signage, before you pay anybody to do signage. Right. Okay. Even though you want to talk to Ross across the street, Ross is not an official person. Okay. That's nice. So, my whole theme here is promoting Armada. And that was the whole idea by misspelling it a little bit. And the star it represents the actual location, and then the word, the height, then represents the space. Mm -hmm. So I, my son came up with that myself. I said, Armada, made in Michigan. Then all of a sudden he said, you know, college guy, why don't you do AR made? Mm -hmm. yeah. It makes me think for five seconds. I said, sure. okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Sorry. that's why he went to school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any discussion? So the only thing before we do this, uh, so do you want us pr pr to proceed in the uh, vein that we're, you're going to come back in next month, or do you want some time in between there? The only thing, if you have time in between there, um, I'm not sure that you'll be able to do it under this site plan. Right. No, we're going to proceed with that separate issue, totally different. We're, we're going to go with the retail now, and I understand there will be another fee Okay. to be reviewed again under a different proposal. Okay, all right. So okay. there'll be a okay. new proposal okay. added on to what I'm existingly having. And it could be denied or not, but my retail will still go on. So if you're gonna do that again, the only thing I would suggest is that uh, you give us time uh, before research. you come in. So give us two or three weeks, to, so present it two or three weeks, so preferably three weeks before the meeting. Awesome. So then we'll have it when when we come to the meeting we'll have an answer. Oh, very good. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So any further discussion? Okay. So a, mo a motion to approve the are made in Michigan for retail only. So retail. So. Okay. Um, before we kind of uh, 
so that, that there's a thing with the dumpster, the dumpster's got to be enclosed, there's all kinds of little yes, things like I, that. I think I wrote it in there that yeah. uh, the landlord provided it, yeah. and it's enclosed in an area. Okay, and then you'll need a building inspector, a building inspection before you can get your certificate of occupancy. Okay, cool, all right, uh, second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Welcome to Armada. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Awesome feeling. Thank yeah, you so much. Uh, we got a little bit of official stuff here. Okay. Thank you so much again. You're welcome. Okay. Um, ordinance review. Well, okay. Um, so we're going out of order. So uh, public comment. Nancy, have you got something? Okay. All right. Oh, okay. All right, back okay. Order. <laughs> okay, we're back in order. We're back in order. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to the ordinance review. Um, we're supposed to article seven and eight and nine. I don't know about you guys, but I didn't get nine. Huh? So, okay. So how about the uh, street parking is seven? Where we're at. We're seven. So, right on the first page, um, anybody got anything? Yeah, the, uh, it, the, the, the 702 E says where detached center of structure says the maximum is more than 14, 14 feet. But 5 1 says it can only be 20 feet. So, what if it's 21? It's more than 14. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, E says 14 feet. Correct. Okay. 
Yeah. On five ones, it says 20 feet. For an accessory building? Yeah. Under lock standards for building height. Right, but I don't think it's saying that that's, that it, so if anything over 14 feet, your setback is equal to the height. So I think that it's not telling you that it's, 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 kind of, it's not contradicting the height, it's adding criteria to the height. Okay. Yeah, the and, and this is, isn't more this, than this is talking accessory building, this is not. Okay. But you're still talking height. But we're talking, this is the, the main building, and we're not talking, and this is not a main building. Okay. The title of this is accessory structures. So this is not accessory structure. This is the main building. So two different, so good, good, uh, good catch, but two different things. But um, I'm glad you brought that one up because the 14 feet is, uh, I checked with some builders. I thought the 14 feet is is low, so I checked with uh, a builder, and uh, he said that 15 foot is more common. I went and measured my garage. My garage is 14 six, so and I don't have a high garage, so and there's a lot of <clears throat> in the fritz. So, so the newer sections of town uh, and the newer houses uh, generally use a 412 pitch. The older houses. A uh, lot have 612 pitches. With the 612 pitch, uh, you're not allowed to have too much of a garage. So, again, um, I, I think we should increase this this height, and in, in not in lieu of the uh, setback addition, but just the, the basic height itself. All right. So, do you want to make it consistent with the height of the uh, height of a building? Not necessarily. Um, I don't think so. It's, it's still an accessory building. It should be shorter. But, um, but I'm, I, I'm, I think we should maybe look at having the planner come up with something. Because again, um, uh, if you if you park a car, um, you can go into a easy seven foot door. But some of the new trucks, like a Ford Super Duty. They're, they're yeah, close to seven way. foot. You right. need you need a taller door. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and if you have that, and you have a, 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 an older house uh, with that six twelve pitch, you don't get very much of a garage. Accessory structure can't be taller than the main building. Well, it's got to be shorter than the main building. It's not taller. 14 foot is definitely smaller than 20 foot or 30 foot or whatever the. Uh, what if you've got a, a, a ranch style house that's 20 foot tall or 10 foot tall, and you've got a garage that's 20 foot tall? Well, we're we're not a, we're not saying that we're going to allow a 20 foot. Larry. It says 14 foot. We're talking about increasing that. Yeah, but we're not going to make it 20 that, foot. Yeah, but I would be. Whatever number we pick between yeah. the two, correct. Um, but yes, if the if you're yeah, let's say if you had a, a ranch type and you wanted to make it taller, if it was like a pole mark, like mm -hmm. well then yeah, it's going to be taller. Because there, there's some garages that in town are actually two story. So 
What did council do with the... Um, That's deleted. What's that? This ordinance is deleted. Oh, it is? It is. Okay. All the... Uh, keeping the keeping of animals. animals. Yeah. No. The council passed an ordinance that specifically deleted that from the zoning ordinance. The zoning or, co or code of ordinances? No, this is deleted from the zoning ordinance and now keeping of animals is covered by, by the, the code, code of ordinance. Okay. okay. Oh. Fair enough. Oh, okay. Right, so seven out of our Okay. Correct. Okay. Um, Article eight, general provisions. Page one. Comments? I hate fences. Yeah. I hate that page. No, I hate fences. Okay, how about page two? Can I just say, with regards to fences, some of the things I come up against sitting in the chair that I sit in on a corner lot? Mm -hmm. um, technically, according to our ordinance, corner lot then has two, two front, front yards, yes. which means then that. What the average homeowner is considering their side yard is not is not yard. is only can only have a three foot fence, right. Right. and um, I understand, and I can easily explain a privacy fence or a solid fence. The reason for a three foot fence, I can't explain that for a chain link fence. I. I don't I don't have the answer on how to fix that. Well that's a good point. I just noticed that one here. You know, you can um Yeah, well, either way, it can only be three out. it can only be three feet tall mm -hmm. in a front yard. Mm -hmm. But they're looking at that as their side yard and if they're putting in chain link it's not a a, right. a, a vision problem. Yep. You can still see. Right. That's just what I encounter. So I don't know if there's a way to. There was a second part because I remember on mine when, Den when Dennis and I did, I mean, many, many, you know, well, down 20 years ago when it started, was the definition of where the side, because the effect that you have two fronts and a rear. We were using the, we used the, oh God, it was the divider on the middle of the house, like my house. It wasn't the back, it was right behind the port, defined the point of front to back. So anytime anything behind that, even though it's still in the, what it was the side, uh, is still is considered rear. So you have that part, but then you have to snap down to the three from there all the way to the corner and then around, if you were to do something like that. So who gave you that so designation? And Den, oh, Den, yeah, you're, when I did our uh, my uh, fence layout for him. I think somewhere in So Dennis did that. Mm -hmm. I would have to read. I think somewhere in here it says it has something to do with the building, the edge of your house, the it, back exactly. edge of your pick, house. Right, but he picks what that is, though. No, I so think it said the back somewhere, it, but it, it's true. But like, so, so if you have, let's say, my, I have three different real elevations. Which one is it? He oh, picked the shortest well, one of the group, and that was it. That's all I'm saying is that yes. I don't know if there's some kind of a compromise to come to with a chain. Oh, whoa! There we go. Hey. Chain there link fence like yes. on a, on when you're on a corner. Yeah. You know, I I'm just and make it four foot continuous all the way around, basically. Yeah. Just what I deal with. That's all I. Yeah. Do. You don't want four foot in the front yard. I don't disagree. But I know we're back because I I know exactly a couple of them are just like that. Well, and, and quite honestly, we do have a couple in the village that looked on a corner and looked at their side yard as a side yard, not a right, front, not a not front, a front yard. yard. <coughs> and they have higher fence right. than they can have. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I know one. One's right down the street from me, or from us, right on the corner. Yeah, that's one. It, or maybe just you know make it plain as day, and it has to be done across the board. Then it makes it a lot easier for me. If it's done across, if it's simple, here's yeah. where your front yard starts, here's where your rear yard starts, this is where your fence can go, this is where it can't yeah. go. It's kind of like as clear as mud. Mm -hmm. I agree you don't want a four foot fence in the front yard. No. 100%. 
I understand. No, and about. if you if you look at a rail fence, that's a, that's allowed at the five foot fence, and for a privacy fence and a side yard six foot. Six foot. So okay. you, you you really I, I I think that other than looking at a chain link fence, none of the other things fit. Oh, I even see. even close. Right. Correct. So Correct. I, 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 in order to keep everything even all the way through without knit uh, without um, you know, this versus this, and this one's different than this one, and keeping everything congruent, I think you really need to keep the front yard on the corner to be in the front yard, and you have two front yards. So maybe you could make something different for the chain link fence, but uh, why? If you're gonna make it, if you're gonna make it three foot, then they're gonna have three foot on the truck anyway. So then let's make it clear as clear what's the side that that how much of that side yard is front yard it's classified front yard. Front sure. yard okay, I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. that. So we that, can that make it be, very plain yeah. as to what right. the, on those corner lots, this yeah. much yeah. is considered okay. your second front yeah. yard, the rest of that's your yeah. rear yard. Because it's okay. only in what the dimensional standard is the only other point that you pick up the fact that if you're a corner you have two front yards. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so <clears throat> so then, if we have to find out where I'm um, here, that it says for that, we'll okay. Bring that no. to okay. All right. Uh, okay. Two fronts. I'll look and bring that to the next one. We might come back and discuss that then. So, did anybody have anything else on that page? So what? Oh, that's one. Uh, that one. I that one. I didn't even like myself. Is going for and getting neighbor approved for when you're not even on the lot line. Well, you don't have to if you're not. No. You don't. But my, when I did mine for the, I. Dan still does. He still a, made right. It's a privacy fence. He does that. Yeah, and my, it was. It's not. It's a chain loop. But he, oh. he he drove on that. And I'm nine feet inside of it. Yeah. Oh. So that's like yeah, that was not fun. You know, going around getting you know three other families. Well, if you look at um, setbacks, there's a whole lot of fences in town that um, are. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I, there, there probably isn't a fence in town that has a observes a five foot setback. Yeah, yeah you're right. <clears throat> so, you want to look at that? Well, yeah, that's and, a good and, point because I was thinking, do you start at the right of way or what's the start of? Uh, it, 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 I think it, sta it, it states oh. somewhere in here that it does start at the right of way. Okay, all right. So, yeah, then you're at, yeah. All, uh, yeah, setbacks. All required setbacks or fences be measured from the property line or uh, street right of way. Or, mm -hmm. yeah, or street right, yeah, there it is under B. Okay. So, five foot back in the street right of way is. What's, what's it off of the sidewalk, isn't it? Generally five feet, three feet, four, say again. So your right of way is generally? One foot inside the sidewalk. Is that what it is, yeah. one foot? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's why you, if you had to see that extra little grass there and most people that that's yeah. to get inside that to make sure you're inside the right of way. So then you're six foot off the sidewalk. From that leading edge, yeah. for a for a normal, unless like our discussion from last meeting, we got some sidewalks that don't don't quite conform to that five foot number. But yes. Well, while you're thinking of this part, there's a part over here. In thinking about changing that setback, technically, if the person replaces their whole fence, they have to. Re uh, so abide by current yes. ordinances. Yep. So if they replace it, put it right back where it was, technically they're in violation. Yep. Correct. If you leave, yep. if you leave it at the five feet. Yep. And Correct. And we've had a few. I mean, I, I remember a few of those from years ago. Even that we that Jeff decided not to press on, so he left it. He left the back of the fence alone. There are not many people that have a fence in their front yard, but my neighbor across the street does okay. because they're they're front yard really is their backyard because they're and they're on a corner so they really have two front yards. <laughs> yeah. 
So let's see if we can't minimize that. So we'll ask the planner that one too. Okay. So then, um, going back to that one, I think we already addressed this. Didn't we address the fence along a driveway in um, I think we ought to, if we're going to have oh, the, the, the that fence thing, we should mention that again in this ordinance. The, the dog thing, yeah, yeah and Krause's property. Yeah, right. yeah. So, didn't, didn't we address it someplace else in what we've already gone through? If not, I think we should do it at this point in time. And I, if it's, and we're talking about fences, so it really should yep. be in here, too. Yep. So, didn't we say that it Anything back from the sidewalk is 20 feet and couldn't be over 30 inches. So that that would that would be any type of a living fence or any type of fence couldn't be over 30 inches. And wasn't that it? Wasn't that what we were going by? Was that 20 foot? So that's a car length. That's right. Yeah. That's I'm picturing the work that was done at the, at the on the property. They got the, the nice privacy style put up, but it has the nice slope down, back down too. And then, I think that's right. That I'm pretty yeah. sure we did. So there's an approach. Yep. Okay. Um, so now we're going on to eight three. So the only thing I thought we should do is uh, have Dennis look at um, uh, capital D and section 8.103 or 8 and just kind of let him give us an input. I think everything's fine, but before we do anything, get some input from him. I should have done that prior to the meeting. But. Um, section, I don't know, 8101, Part B, there's a grammatical error. In the middle, upon identification of a damaged or illegal fence, the building inspector shall order the property owner to remove the such so fences. Yeah. <coughs> So take out the word the. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Here's another part in eight one oh two. We talked about it um, last week about connecting public or last month connecting public sidewalks with building entrances. Yes, we did. That's not yeah. always a possible thing. We should put something in there. So the only time that you would have uh, um, this wouldn't apply would be if it was a um, commercial development or a multiple. Correct. So if you have an apartment buildings, it's kind of like so. What we're getting at is, yeah, uh, like both the apartments. Neither one of them have the main entrance connecting to the sidewalk. And that's okay because they have sidewalks, but like the uh, but the, in order to do the main entrance of the building, you have to go through the parking lot. Right? And like uh, so, 
another instance would be uh, the dentist office. Though the dentist office doesn't have a sidewalk that connects the main entrance to the building either. So you want to eliminate that statement? No, 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 I don't think you want to eliminate it. I think you want to have maybe a statement uh, 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 this could be uh, a deviation could be made uh, uh, under certain certain circumstances by the planning commission or some some way to say something like that to give us a you know latitude to deviate. subject to topography. Well, what's the top of the bank if it's not topography? Yeah. <laughs> so I don't understand what that means. So I understand the top of the bank, but... Um, So it's basically the straight line, and if it's not a straight line, then it doesn't matter. You, you're still picking. Well, and that could be. Um, the but I don't think that everything goes by straight lines anyway. Right, but that's, that's the only thing I can think of. I remember we had God, we had twice this one came up. This one came up when uh, Holloway's place was up because they had to get it. Uh, he had to delineate uh, get a letter from the DEQ to allow them to delineate that parcel and Carolyn's cabinets uh, because of the erosion where, where that back, uh, the creek comes in through there. That's how I got back on planning. What's that? That's how I got back on planning, Carolyn's. Is it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. That last paragraph too. If the nuisance has not been abated, the building inspector caused such nuisance to be abated through Phil? Yeah, that's caused a lot. I don't think that should be in our book. May cause. Mm -hmm. Wow. You guys are going right to town on these. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Well, it's like having a pot here. You don't even bother reading for the spell. You know, you got a couple good spell check machines here. <laughs> We ever had anybody notify the village on eight inch trees when they were going to come down, like when Fritz went through? Because I know at the, <clears throat> at the village of the rehab center, yeah, they, they had did. trees. Yeah. They did. They, yeah. they did. They had a, um, uh, they actually had a, uh, what we call them, a large landscape architect. Oh, okay. So that, they exactly did that. They came in and made sure all the trees that he took out or whatever. 
Well, the they, did, they didn't come in to do this. What they did was they identified all the trees that were of that uh, database diameter, is that it? Mm -hmm. um, so which is four foot up from the ground, and then uh, you take the diameter of the tree at that. So database something. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there wasn't very many trees, but in lieu of taking those trees down, then they put uh, plantings to equal those. So uh, uh, that was done. So yeah, we we have done that. Mm -hmm. I was just but you're right. Sometimes we have let it slip too. Mm. Yeah, Brewers had a, they had an old tree there that was over 150 years old. And they cut it down. They just cut it. Down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and, and that was so. They weren't supposed to cut that down, uh, and they did. And grief was kind of spread around over that, but you know. It, 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 yeah, I know it's pretty old. That's why I was wondering how. Yeah. How much it's enforced in the village? Because I know they, they take <coughs> all the trees on, at the village rehab center. Mm -hmm. They they actually had tags, mm -hmm. and we had to take them out. You know, when we were taking the trees. But, but I know that you know, anybody was watching. You know what was going on. Well, they actually did kind of. Uh, they did come in with a plan. Right, but even the Mike plan. I mean, you know, having a plan and executing it, it can mm -hmm. be two different things. Well, yeah, and but they say they're going to keep something, then stuff gets cut down. Right. That happens every now and then. Mm -hmm. But you're right. That hundred-year-old tree was uh, was a uh, tough um, nut to swallow. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So how about section eight three hundred one performance standards? standards. All these decibel levels have been established, I'm assuming. Yeah, these are all. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Well, I, the only one I can attest to is the industrial one. I know that's been there for a long time. Mm -hmm. Industrial and commercial, yeah. I don't remember that's 55. That's 55. So what about two, A2? Construction noise? Yeah. So what if you're doing, you're building a pole barn, a garage, a shed, you can't, you know, tearing one down. You well, can't do it on a Sunday or a holiday? Um. I think they're not referring to some guy coming over on a weekend with his buddies and tearing the garage down. So demolition work, I think they're referring to more like CNA coming in with an excavator and trucks and loaders and stuff. That's, I think, more what they're. I agree doing. with you. However, it, it's. I mean, it's 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 pretty. You're here is any any tools or equipment used in construction drilling. So any, I mean, it was, it's, it's not like, so again, it's up to us mm -hmm. as to that, but that's pretty dang open. Dennis interprets it the same way Ben just said. Yeah, he's, which he's makes more sense. Of the, he's yeah. more of the company. Yeah. I yeah. will tell you that when they did um, East Main, they had to get special permission to work on something. And I, I'm fine with that, but again, it's, it's the, yeah. uh, what do you call it, your home, uh, do it yourself yeah, or you something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Is you can't work on a Sunday or a holiday? I don't know about that. Well, yeah, because that's the only time you've got it. Exactly most right. Of the time. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, at night and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. At nine o'clock. I mean, except in the middle of the summer, or the dead of the summer, that uh, the high point of the summer. I mean, nine o'clock is kind Sun of sharp. Sunset at nine thirty. So, yeah. Yeah, quarter, to, the quarter to ten at the, is, 
sometimes with the right conditions, you can still have some life. Right. So okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, usually it's a do it yourself or type thing, the neighbors are fine. Right. I don't really have anything right. on the next few pages. Is anybody else? No. Becky? Okay. So, unless somebody else has stuff on nine, I didn't do it. I, won't, I, I did it a long time ago. Uh, and I'd really rather go over it again before we did something. The only question I would have is. Obviously, Main Street Business District is exempt from these. Do we want to write whoa, in whoa, that whoa, they're exempt? Obviously, what? Main oh. Street Business District. The, exempt from what? The, the, C, from the what? C1 is exempt from off street parking and loading. Okay. That's what you're saying. Is that right? Well, I think does, does C1 fall under? That's the downtown business district. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, Papa's. Uh, Anything in yeah, yeah. 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 Chaps, but the pharmacy. Yeah, no chaps would be the part. Yeah. 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 Sub, subway. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But they all have alleys. Most of the stuff is done in the alleys, not on the street. So very, very little unloading and loading is done other than UPS mm -hmm. in the street. Yeah. I don't think anything's done in the street anymore. I, have I was talking about the Especially parking section. They, yeah, they nope. use the parallel parking that the village owns. They don't have a parking lot up back. The C1 doesn't require any parking. There's no right. parking, yeah. Right so that's, yeah, so we're not going to go through the nine. So that, that's nine. We'll do next, next time. That's yeah, next we'll time. do this next time. Yeah, that's fine. You. But kind of look, so for some of that stuff, um, uh, kind of look at the rest of the ordinance, uh, and you can, some of your questions would be answered. To look at the different zones and criteria for those. So especially in parking. So parking is going to be a whole lot by zoning. It's not not all the zonings are going to have the same thing. Right. So for different so for C1 there is no parking requirements. For C2 there's different parking requirements than there are for industrial. And the loading and unloading zones are also the same or similar. Or, excuse me, dissimilar. So 905, so worth having a plan to see if there's any updates or anything new on, nine, on, on section 905 on our table there of all the, <clears throat> it, you know, it's basically it's being statistic based, right? Number of employees, square footage, things like that, those multipliers. Because we haven't touched this since what, 02 then? Getting stuff to give to the plan. So oh, okay. Let them okay. So everything, yeah. So everything that we're doing is really kind of some of the things that we're posing is just a question to the planner and what we should do with this or what we can do or what the what like you said what's the standard today. So and I I really haven't had any money yet. So what else are we doing? Oh, okay. So we'll do nine. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I was, I was ready for an adjournment. Okay, so how many? Nine is 12. I think parking is going to be pretty big. And what's access management? Oh, here's your thing. Well, that's only four. What do you guys want to do? What's oh, ten? That's, uh, ten that's, six, that's 16 pages. I think parking is going to be four. I, 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 I agree. I think parking, we can spend a lot of time on parking. Does parking not just ten? Nine. I say nine. Yeah, I say but ten. I think ten. Ten would go with it. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's the yeah. Because your access. It's the access. I, I totally agree. Agree. It's the access to nine. Yeah. <laughs> and landscaping, screening, buffing is kind of those two, but you know that that we could do that yeah. the next time. Okay. Nine yeah. Mm -hmm. right. October we're a regular month. I have a 
question, if it's appropriate time. Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. just wondering, you mentioned uh, maybe uh, page 7-2, maybe something of an ordinance of keeping of animals, and then you, you said there was a new ordinance or something? So we don't have an ordinance, so what this has done is it's deleted from our guys of the planning department, so it's no longer in the zoning ordinance, it's now in the code of ordinance, uh, uh, regulated by the council. And when was that deleted? Hang on. It came over the dogs and the cats. That's exactly yeah. what came over. So there was a there was a there was a discrepancy between the zoning ordinance and the code of ordinance. So rather than rewrite both ordinances or rewrite one, they just took it out of the zoning ordinance and made it into the code of ordinance. So there was just one. Out of zoning? And only in yeah, code of ordinance. That was what, about a year and a half ago? April of 15th. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Well, that was in that long? Yeah. <laughs> it gets worse as you get older than <laughs> So oh, yeah. standard standard standard. Standard. Okay, so I said something about somebody contacting us about uh, a, a putting a residence above a garage. Uh, I told them that it wasn't, uh, um, it really wasn't in our ordinance to allow that, but I said, you know, give me something in writing as far as where you're at and what the, uh, uh, um, what your garage looks like and stuff. So, and they did that, so, and they are on Main Street. Um, it's a house right next to your mom's vacant lot. Where Quake used to live, the former guy used to live. Oh, yeah. 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 So he built that's that garage. garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 and that's a two-story garage. Yes. So, yes. And that, so that, there, yes. and then, yeah. and that's, that's, a, that's a new house, or, or a fairly new house, built in the last 15 years or so. Um, at least redone because I know he mm -hmm. did but it before he had his accident or whatever you want to call that. Yeah. And also, yeah. House was not here. Yeah. There was, was moved. manufactured, right? No. No, they moved uh, oh, it. They so moved it from moved it? where the, the yeah. it was was on Main Street and moved it to Main Street. Okay. So it was right. it was part of the phrase the phase three thing. So it used to sit kind of by the entrance and now I think it maybe was in the entrance. Okay, got it. Yeah. Or, or it was one I of the houses, the new house yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so anyway, that's the house, that's the that's the garage, and they want to put a living quarters up above. So when the garage was built, you know the guy that did it, he did it. He had an office above there, so that was approved to be. Uh, but now the residency, I, I I I told the guy after looking at it, I said you know if it, I know this property, but the stance is still. Uh, you're not allowed to have residence in an accessory rebuilding. So, and I instructed him he could go to, uh, he could come to planning, uh, and we would tell him that as a board. Uh, he could go to the building inspector. Uh, the building inspector could issue him a building permit or, or an occupancy permit. Uh, and if he was, we could recommend that he go to uh, the zoning board of the Appeals. But I didn't give him much hope on that one either. But that, that's that's your next one. That's Menard's. One of my favorite plans they have is the apartment barn. <laughs> I love that sucker, especially when I saw someone did that on 32 in uh, uh, near Low Plank. They bought the parcel, they built the barn, lived in it. And well, then they built their house for a couple of years and then moved in. And it's mm. a, uh, I know a very wealthy guy that lived in a barn. He lived in the upstairs. He yeah. kept his tractor and yeah, downstairs. Yeah. And then his car downstairs, truck downstairs. He paid somebody forty hours a week to cut the grass during the summer. Mm. Oh, he had that much grass. He had full time grass people. So how would that? And, and he lived in a little tiny wick barn upstairs. So you know, we just did that accessory. Does it? Did it say in that section about not having? Grass? That is, oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very different. Yeah, we, uh, so, okay, I mean, again, I, I'm okay with it. But again, I, I guess there's certain things that we have to rewrite the ordinance to allow. Right, right. That, that's what Basement I mean. Basement only structures and above or in garage dwellings are prohibited. Yeah. 
So I mean, we if you want to look at that, we could do that, but that would be when this would be rewritten. Yeah. So I mean, it's yeah, possible. I think we're right. However, that would also, if someone did want it, knowing that if, if there's something forthcoming in a year or whatever, ZBA has something to stand on. Sure. But I know people that have built garages and wanted to have an apartment and, and they were and they were denied. Well, the, yeah, can you come up with that? Sorry, you can come up with the hardship. Um, but that's not hardship. I agree with you. Some things that you can. Yeah. Anymore? That's okay. All right. That's interesting. Dang, it was my idea. I was going to put one in the back. When I took the pool, I was going to put one of those up. <laughs> my man shed. Everyone can have the house. I just want that. A pool table. And I am well, I think if you have a, a detached garage, that's totally different. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 there's the you got that bonus room. Bonus room, right. Yeah. 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 OK, so that's it for my cool. chair report. Anybody have anything else they want to say? Like, like motion to motion adjourn? Yeah. At 8.37 p.m.? 37 p.m. So, who made the motion? Go ahead. Okay, so we'll Risky, okay. Risky, okay. Risky, I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 We're out of here.